And we move now to the waging battle against the coronavirus tonight. While the state's positivity rate is down, Maryland's other key metrics, those are up once again. More than 1,500 new COVID cases have been reported in the last 24 hours, with hospitalizations and deaths also seeing a slight uptick. Here in Baltimore, city officials say that new cases are up almost 50% from four weeks ago. But they also say vaccinations have continued to go up. And now they're making it a bit easier for people to see some of the pandemic data that city officials have been looking at when they make those decisions about mass mandates along with vaccination efforts. WJC's Stetson Miller tells us more about it. As new COVID-19 cases and deaths continue to rise in Baltimore, city officials stressed again the need for an indoor mask mandate and pushed for more vaccinations. They want to show people how they're making their decisions about the pandemic with updates to their online coronavirus dashboard. This dashboard overhaul will make it easier for residents and the members of the public to uh, see exactly what Dr. Geraza, our health experts, and I use to make calls that protect the health and safety of us all. The newest update shows the percentage of the population vaccinated in different areas, ranging from 21% in one part of South Baltimore up to 95% in the downtown area. Now, over 64% of eligible people in the city have at least one dose of the vaccine. But the data also shows that new cases are up almost 50% from four weeks ago, which is why they want people to keep taking steps to stop the spread of the virus. But some worry that people are not taking the pandemic as seriously as they did before. I hope people can be a little more careful, more considerable, considerable about this virus. I mean, you know, it's not over yet. And it's because this pandemic is not over yet that President Biden says he stepped up the nation's COVID efforts. Yesterday, he enforced a new vaccine mandate. And tonight, it's getting fierce pushback from more than 20 Republican state governors lined up in opposition. The new mandate requires two-thirds of American workers to get their COVID vaccine shots. But some GOP leaders say it's outside of constitutional law. They're even threatening to sue the Biden administration. But the president is firing back, calling those governors irresponsible, especially when it comes to the health of children. He even appears to be ready to battle it out in court. Have at it. I am so um, disappointed that uh, particularly some of the Republican governors have been so cavalier with the health of these kids. That's it. Simple, plain, straightforward. Get them vaccinated. In contrast to the opposition, many business owners say they are relieved to have political cover to issue a vaccine requirement. Many businesses we've reached out to here in Baltimore say they're still developing guidelines and timetables for their employees. In the meantime, there's plenty of talk about the president's new mandate in the city. My wife's a nurse. Uh, we both got vaccinated as soon as we can. We didn't need a $25 gift card to do that. Uh, it's for the public good. I mean, there's a little bit of me, to be honest, that thinks maybe it's just a little bit much to mandate it for your job, but I'm not completely against doing it. Under the new federal mandate, businesses with more than 100 employees must provide paid time off for employees who aren't already vaccinated to get the shot. The president's also requiring all federal and contract workers to get their shots or face losing their jobs. Maryland employs about 150,000 federal employees. And in the wake of President Biden's harsh warning about what he is calling the war of the unvaccinated, the CDC out with an alarming new study tonight. If you're looking at cases from the past 11 months, researchers say those who are unvaccinated are about four and a half times more likely to contract COVID, more than 10 times more likely to be hospitalized, and 11 times more likely to die from COVID than those who got the shot. And while vaccination is still the highest form of protection, the latest report does show that the odds of those who are fully vaccinated getting sick from the virus did rise as the Delta variant surges across the country.